Hi guys, so today we are going to be doing another pretty long haul. Uh, I think I have about 60 some items to go through of recent um, yard sale finds, auction winnings, and so on and so forth of stuff that I have recently listed on eBay. Um, so we're just going to get right into it because I got a lot to go through and I'll talk about where I obtained said items and all of that good stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to start out with is I'm going to be posting up some pictures because in the last footage video you saw, we came, Eric and I came across the yard sale. It was a pretty large one. Uh, there was a big table full of books, lots of um, series books. Um, most of them were put out by guideposts and they were 10 cents a piece and sometimes um you know if you have a, a whole complete series of books uh they can sell pretty well we've been having a lot of luck with books here lately um so we picked them up they were 10 cents a piece so the first lot we have was a series called sugar creek these were like mystery type of books so all together this entire lot cost three dollars and twenty cents and we listed it for a buy it now of two hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents so yeah these um books can sell really well next set of books again mystery series these were called the tea room mysteries so all together we paid three dollars and seventy cents for this lot and i have it listed as a buy it now for a hundred and eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents next we have another lot of books these were called the church choir mysteries series all together paid two dollars for this lot and I have that listed as a buy it now for $79.99. Next lot actually already sold. This one was called Mysteries of Silver Peak. Altogether we paid $3.50 for that lot and I sold it for a buy it now of $149.99. This next item actually came from a yard sale. It's this beautiful like periwinkle blue teapot. It has a really awesome like atomic starburst type of pattern to it. Really like the overall look of it. Absolutely gorgeous. There is a little bit of the gold like coming off of the handle from use. This is by a company called Hall, H-A-L-L is the brand on that. I paid $7 for this teapot and I listed it as a buy it now for $79.99. Some of the other ones listed are listed higher but they have like less of the gold rub on the handle and stuff like that. So overall though it's in really nice condition. Um, I think this Barbie came from, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not entirely sure, the yard sale where I met Chester the kitty cat. Uh, this is a Barbie Wedgwood Barbie. Really pretty. She's still in her box. Um, the plastic on the box is like dented in a little bit, so that did, um, you know, make the price come down. But we did pay... $15 for her and I have her listed as a buy it now for $89.99 so she seems to be a good one so really pretty Barbie doll at the yard sale where I got um I picked up a pair of Doc Martens it was the Chester when, when I met Chester the kitty cat um I had purchased a Monster High doll that was still in its packaging and I'll show you that um, towards the end of the video because I'm hanging on to it for a little bit. Um, but anyway, before we left, before I checked out, I don't normally ask people if they have anything. Sometimes people ask me like, you know, if I'm looking for anything specific and I usually just say, no, I'm just like looking around and that type of thing. But for whatever reason, since I found that Monster High doll, I asked her if she had any other Monster High dolls and she said yes. Here she pulled out this huge tub um, of Monster High dolls and I was like, oh my gosh, because they were all dressed, um, you know, they looked like they were in really good condition, still had, you know, their original clothes on and everything like that. Obviously not in the boxes. and. 
I asked her, I was like, well, how much do you want for all of the Monster High dolls? Because I just wanted to buy it all. She also had a really large, um, the really large dollhouse, which I didn't want to get into that. Though, you know, that can probably be parted out, but I wasn't interested in that. Anyway, she said 50 bucks for the whole tub, so I went ahead and purchased it. I didn't list any of those Monster High dolls yet. That is going to take me a little while just to go through them and, you know, match up, see if any of their other little accessories are, you know, in the tub and that type of stuff because I haven't even really looked at it since I purchased it. So that'll be a fun little adventure. Uh, next item we got, we went to the yard sale where we found all those books. They had a lot of stuff there and a lot of it was on the older side. Um, I did find this Precious Moments like um, crib baby blanket. So I picked that up. Um, I can't remember our total bill there, but it wasn't much. I'd say they charge like a dollar a piece for most stuff. So I'm just gonna say this was a dollar. And I listed this for a buy it now of $39.99. Also at that yard sale, I picked up this vintage My Little Pony girls sleeping bag. This is from 1990, so it is an older one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say I paid a dollar for this as well. And I listed this as a buy it now for $49.99. I also picked this up there. It is called the My Press and Dress Doll. So it's just like a soft um, like fabric case. And when you open it, there is a section here for your doll and it's kind of like a paper doll but it's made out of like a felty fabric and then the clothing pieces it comes with a bunch of different outfits and accessories but the clothing pieces have bits of velcro on and then you would simply just lay them on here in a better way than what I just did but it's kind of like a paper dolls but you just like press the clothes on so i don't know i thought that was cute i couldn't find a date on it but it it looked a little older to me like maybe from the late 90s i'm not entirely sure anyway again i'd say i paid a dollar for it and i put this up um as a buy it now for 19 dollars 99 this little joseph originals um little rabbit is so stinking cute it's made of ceramic he has these really long floppy ears and he is marked yeah he still has his little um joseph original sticker there i paid 75 cents for him and i listed him as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents i got this really cool vase at a yard sale i paid uh three dollars for this vase it has a really neat like ridgy opening to it and it is signed the maker is called flat earth clay works and they are based out of kansas so this little card was inside of there so i paid three dollars for that and i listed it for a buy it now of 29 dollars and 99 cents eric won this at an auction this is an apple TV. It's brand new, still sealed. He paid $25 for this and we listed it as a buy it now for $69.99. Here's a big one. Big one coming through here. I got a Winnie the Pooh cookie jar. How amazing is this thing? So this is Halloween themed. It's like a creepy tree trunk and then it has all of the Winnie Pooh characters around it in their little Halloween costumes. So, so stinking cute and the top opens obviously because it is a cookie jar. So, Eric won this at an auction. Let me set it back down. Eric won that at an auction for just $11 and we listed that as a buy it now for $119.99. I also have this little Winnie the Pooh item. This is a teapot and it depicts um, Winnie the Pooh's birthday there on it. And here's what the bottom looks like. Anyway, we paid $3 for this teapot and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. This did come from an auction. Also have this little teapot. This one is called Pooh's Blustery Day. 
So it looks like the wind is catching their umbrellas and Pooh's kite. So this one here, we paid, I think, $4 for, and it we have it listed as a buy it now for $69.99. Another Winnie the Pooh item was this um, sugar and creamer set, looks like this. Um, we paid about $4 for these as well, and I have these listed on auction with a starting price of $39.99 for the set. I have a lot of breakables in this uh, particular haul. Uh, these next um, little pixies, these are little ceramic pixies. I have a set of four of these. I won these at an auction. They are marked Japan on the bottom and they're a little band. So we have this one playing the accordion, this one with the saxophone, and I'll show you the other two that we got here. This one here is playing the flute and then we have the violin so I won the whole set for $25 I paid I did put these on auction with a starting price of $69 and 99 cents I'd like to at least get that for them um, so if they don't sell on auction I'll probably relist them as a buy it now for that price pixies sell so if they don't go now I definitely feel like they'll go closer to Christmas I got this really pretty Yankee candle set. So this is like an underplate for your candle. And then it has the matching lamp shade that you would put on top of your candle. So really nice like mosaic look, very Christmassy with the holly berries. Eric won this for a dollar at an auction and I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I couldn't find one that looked exactly like this. I think I found someone selling the plate, but not the shade. I got this really cute mug. I fell in love with this. Um, it says happy haunting on it with these little gnomes dressed up for Halloween. The interior is black. It's made by a company called Cobwebs and Cauldrons. I'm not sure where that originally was sold at. Paid a dollar for this at a yard sale and I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this little vintage ceramic angel bell at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid a quarter for her. I found her in a box and she is marked Japan on the inside there. So she has a little thing where you could string, um, you know, a piece of string and hang her um, as an ornament. So a quarter for her and I listed her as a buy it now for $12.99. This item was a really unique, interesting piece. I just had to have it because it was so weird looking. Um, so this is kind of like an upcycled, uh, recycled art piece that someone made. It looks like a bird and you can see its little feathers are um, nails. And then its body is actually made of an old golf head. Um, it says Arnold Palmer on it, so an old golf head, and then its legs are, you know, just made of metal. So I thought that was really cute. I think this would be cute in like a, um, like a man cave or, you know, someone who just really likes golf to like put it in their bookcase as decor. So I won this at an auction. I can't remember exactly what I paid. I'd say a dollar, um, less than five. I listed him on auction with a starting price of $29.99. This next item also came from an auction. This is an old Humpty Dumpty um, stuffed toy. You can hear it has like a rattly um, chime inside. He does need cleaned. I didn't clean him because I was afraid of like harming his little chimey bell. Um, so, but yeah, he does have some discoloration to him. I'm assuming that's what that is, and that's not how it's supposed to look. I honestly don't know. Uh, but anyway, this is by Eden Toys. So I won this for just a dollar, and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I didn't see any that looked exactly like him. I've seen similar ones, but his mouth and everything was made of felt, and the other ones were all... Like all of his little bits are felt and the other ones were all embroidered. I got this pair of Birkenstock sandals, really cute orange strappy bits there. Um, so perfect for summer. These are a size 39, which is a lady's size 
eight. So, and they look to be in pretty good condition. I got these at a yard sale. I'd say I paid about $3 for them. And I listed these on auction with a starting price of $59.99. Some of the stuff that I show in my haul, you might not have seen footage video for yet. Um, like, I don't think I, I edited this video yet. I found this vintage Puma track jacket. So this is a women's size medium. It is fitted, so it's made to fit, you know, snug against your body. Uh, I paid, I believe, $1 for this. It might have been less than that. And I listed it on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I didn't see any that looked quite like that, so we'll see. Mediums aren't the best size, but, you know, I figured since it was vintage, we would take a chance. I got this beautiful, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I wanted to keep this. Um, this is a beach cover-up. Or, you you know, you can, you don't have to wear it at the beach. Um, I found this at the flea market. It's by a company called Arata Silent Journey is the name on this tag there. So it's just a really pretty beach cover-up. It has these pretty fringy tassels along the sleeves and then it's got like a fish print with coral there's a crab on there seashells and then there's just pretty gold thread like intertwined throughout it so this is like a one size fits all type of deal i paid six dollars for it at the flea market and i listed it as a buy it now for 39 dollars and 99 cents market that I go to is kind of hit or miss. A lot of the times it's the same people um, there every single week, but on occasion you will come across someone who has never set up there before or it's been a long time since they have, which was the case for this lady because I caught a couple of things from her. I don't have it all listed yet though. Um, I got this long, it's um just like a long tunic type of top I mean you could honestly I don't know if you could wear this as a dress or not uh, potentially or just like a long uh, cardigan type of jacket I fell in love with this I think this is so beautiful it's by a company called Coos of course it's made of 18% silk it's a size medium and it's got this like velvet I know it's so hard to see it on camera but it's got this velvet feel to it it just reminds me of something that, like, if you guys ever watched uh, the movie The Craft um, back in the 90s, like, it just reminds me of something those girls would have worn. So, definitely, like, has a gothic type of feel to it, in my opinion. Anyway, I paid, I believe, a dollar for this, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So, we'll see, but I found that was really pretty. I got a pair of roller skates. These are Rydell Zebra Print roller skates. These are a women's size five. Uh, I got these at a yard sale. I think I paid two, yeah, I paid $2 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $59.99. The first yard sale that I started out at in my footage video was this really awesome yard sale. They had a lot of older stuff it was a lady who was cleaning out her mom's house and nothing was priced but when i went to check out the first day that i went there she charged me a dollar for like a whole tray of stuff that i purchased so and she said to come back the following day because she was gonna dig some more stuff out so i did go back the following day you'll see that in another footage video there was a lot of stuff and there are times when like you know i don't pick up stuff and some of the times that might be because there might be something wrong with it that you know you can't really see on camera or i find out after i already looked at it and that type of stuff so i'm gonna show you what i got the first day i was there um i picked up this little oh my gosh these are so cute it's these little ceramic mice and there's two in there they don't come out they are stuck in there and there's like this fur trim around the basket that they're sitting in i just thought these were so cute and they are marked PAC Japan. Oh, and I got a cha -ching. We'll see what that is in a minute. Anyway, so the whole tray of stuff um, she charged me a dollar for, and I listed these 
on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I couldn't find anything out about these. I didn't see any sold or any listed, so we'll see. Um, you saw that I picked up this old glass amber yellow um, dog decanter. So I was just naturally drawn to this and I decided to look it up and I was seeing some really high prices. So I picked it up. Um, the stopper is in really nice condition and so is the bottle. So really pretty. Um, I listed this for a buy it now of $99.99. The other ones listed are listed higher than that. So we'll see. We're also going to see what that cha-ching was. Um, I got a bid. Oh, yay! I got a bid on the next one. Hold on a second. We'll get to those in a minute. Actually, no, I'll just show it to you now. We got a bid on these ones here. So another one of these ceramic. Um, these are two cats instead of the two mice in a blue ceramic basket. Also with fur around it, you can see the fur is missing um, on this one in places, so not in the best condition. Um, in all actuality, you can probably take that off and replace it with um, not even just fur. You could use like ribbon or like rickrack or something like that. But again, marked PAC Japan. I listed this one on auction with a starting price of $12.99 and it looks like that does have a bid. It's already got two watchers too. That's kind of crazy. So yeah, maybe that one is something. We'll find out. Um, okay, next item we have came from an auction. This is a Philosophy Amazing Grace um, Bath and Body set. I know these bottles look a little funky, but they are sealed. They haven't been opened or used or anything like that. So this first item is the Amazing Grace Olive Oil Body Scrub. There is also the Amazing Grace... Um, shower gel and again this might look used but it is still still sealed that's just as far as they fill filled her up with um there's also the amazing grace whipped body cream and the amazing grace two fluid ounce perfume that is still sealed so we won this at an auction for a bid of eleven dollars and I listed the whole set for a buy it now of $69.99. I got this cat at an auction. I just, I fell in love with it. It's like a primitive looking cat. He's like skinny. He's made of like a fabric cloth. He has this like rusty bell here with these <laughs> little um, string whiskers and like a little wreath around his ear. Anyway, it's signed BH. I don't know, you know, what that stands for exactly. Um, I probably paid about a dollar for him and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I got this really nice pottery bowl at a yard sale. So it has a little piggy inside with the alphabet around it. So this would be good for like a soup bowl or a cereal bowl. This is by Becky Mummert. She is, or I should say was, I don't think she, when I purchased this bowl, the lady said that she doesn't make, um, she doesn't make anything anymore. Like she closed her studio down, but some of her items can sell really well. She is local to where I am. So like, it's easier kind of to come across stuff. I see her stuff a lot at auctions and a lot of it goes for like insane amounts of money because, you know, she is local and local people, you know, want to purchase it and that type of stuff. But um, it does sell really well online as well. So I paid just 75 cents for this bowl. This bowl would go for so much more at a local auction house. And I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. All right, this next item is absolutely amazing. So this piece was made, handmade, by someone named Lauren W. It is signed down here, 2016. But it is so beautiful and so well made. So it's on this nice, thick wood type of frame that you can hang up. And she painted this amazing steampunk looking cat with hot air balloons and there's this whole clock section right here so there's no clock on the back but you can buy 
like the clock parts at like Hobby Lobby for about $11, like the clock guts to, to make this actually into a working clock. So I fell in love with this. I found it at a yard sale. I asked the man how much he wanted for it. He said a dollar. I was like, there's no way in hay I'm letting that sit for a dollar. So bought that. I did list this on auction with a starting price of $99.99. I don't know if we'll get that for it, uh, but I just thought it was amazing, so unique, and I definitely feel like the right person would would pay that much for it. So we'll see. Got these sandals at a yard sale. I've never heard of this brand before. They're called Sierra. And they say they're made in Italy. They are these nice, like chunky leather sandals. Um, I'm pretty sure they're like a unisex sandal because when I look them up, um, they are a European size 42. And then also on the inside, they say that they're a size nine. But I do believe it's a size 9 in men's just because I think these seem really big to be a size 9 in women's. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I did list them as like a unisex sandal just because I couldn't find any information. Like I don't even think they have a web page. So I don't know if these are vintage or what. But they're really well made and Italian leather. So I decided to get them. I say I paid about a dollar for them at a yard sale and I put them up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I got this really awesome dragon candle snuffer. So you would use this to um, out in your candles. It has this really cool winged dragon on the end. It is made of pewter and it has these really pretty um, jewels all over it. I found the website where this was originally sold. They don't sell it anymore. I paid $1 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. I got um, a decent amount of vintage children's clothing and you haven't seen this footage video yet. I'm pretty sure I paid about a quarter a piece for the clothes that I picked up. Uh, the first piece was this one here. This is by Jimboree and it's a size medium. So this is definitely from the 90s. Um, little like shorts bib set and it has these funky pineapple really bright neon pineapple fruits all over it so quarter for that I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99 it does currently already have a bid and a few watchers so we'll see where that goes I got a Hawaiian shirt this is by Hilo Hattie, it says the Hawaiian original. It's a size extra large. And it looks like this, just nice short sleeved, button down, vintage um, Hawaiian shirt. I got this at a yard sale. I think I paid about a dollar for it. And again, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. That is an extra large. This little left in Christmas tree shaped trinket box. It has a little red cardinal on it and it does still have its little left in sticker there. This came on the tray. I'm pretty sure this came on the tray that I purchased the little, um, at that one sale, the little um, ceramic doodads. Um, I listed that as a Buy it now for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I also got this at this on the same flat. This is a little left in um, San Santa boy. It's a little boy dressed up in like Santa's um, suit. Does have a sticker still, and I listed him for a buy it now of nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. There are other ones of these, so the more you have, the better kind of thing. I got this vintage men's cologne. This is by Dana. It's called the California Cologne. So it has been used a couple of times. I paid two dollars for this, and I have it listed as a buy it now for twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, the larger sizes of this can sell for a lot more. Also, um, at that one sale, I got this little January Carnation Angel. So she doesn't have her sticker anymore, but I'm fairly certain this is by Anesco. So a little angel. Um, I listed her on auction with a starting price of $19.99. 
Also at that sale, I filled up a jewelry box um, for $3, and you will see a video of me going through that jewelry box. So far, I've only listed two things from it, so these are like a sneak peek of what was inside that jewelry box. Uh, the first thing is this vintage pink plastic flamingo pin. It says Hialeah 1969 on it, so it's just a little pink pin. I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. There was only one other one listed um, in this year and theirs was listed higher than that. Also from the jewelry box, I listed these really pretty green, these are like <laughs> neon green flower earrings. These are clip-ons, most of the earrings um, were clip-on earrings. And these actually glow amazing under black light. They are black light reactive, really pretty. There's no, um, you know, maker's mark on them, but they're obviously older. Um, I listed these for, I listed these on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I got these two. These are by Lennox Winnie the Pooh. These are called jam jars. So this one has like a little raspberry on the top and then this one has an apple and they also come with like a tiny little spoon to spoon out the jam. So super cute. Eric won these at an auction for, actually these came with two other pieces, um, two other Lennox pieces and I'll show them to you here in a minute, but the whole lot for 20 bucks. So that was an amazing score there. The jam jars I have listed as a buy it now for $32.99 and that includes both jars. Also um, in the lot that he won for 20 bucks was this Lennox little, it's called a treat, a sweet treats jar. So it's like a little um, canister jar with a lid and the lid does have a seal to it to, you know, keep your candies or whatever you're putting in there fresh. Um, I listed this one here as a buy it now for $69.99. And then the last piece that was in the $20 lot was this Lennox Winnie the Pooh vase. So it's got Christopher Robin and them on. It's called the um, Honey Pot vase is the name of it. And I listed this as a buy it now for $49.99. We got this pair of men's Ariat um, cowboy western boots. These are um, work boots. They have a steel steel toe in them. They are a men's size nine. Um, we paid about twenty dollars for these at a yard sale, and I have them listed as a buy it now for seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Eric got these two sets of toys. They are called Battle B Demon. I have no clue what these are. I've never heard of them in my life. They are from 2005. So it's this one here and this one. These have been used. They are open boxes. Um, we paid $3 for them all together. And we have these on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Looks like he left the price tag sticker on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Okay, next item is a Patricia Nash wristlet. Nice leather wristlet. Um, looks like that on the inside with the Patricia Nash tag. So I paid, I got this at a yard sale. I paid $2 for it and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. This was another vintage um, kids piece of clothing I got from that one yard sale for a quarter. This is a little um, floral dress by a company called Bonnie Jean and it is a size 2T. So really cute little dress. I listed this one on auction with a starting price of $29.99. All right, this next item is gonna be a little hard to show. So <laughs> we got this at a yard sale. It's this um, kind of like display piece. It looks like a hill and then it has like all these spots you can sit stuff. So anyway, um, this goes on top of it. It says cow world. 
so it just sits right in here like so and then it comes with all of these little cow figurines and you set them all over the um the display piece so i'm not gonna go and like throw them all up on there because i don't want to like you know break any of them they're made of like a resiny type of material anyway um we got this in a yard sale we paid two dollars for it and i listed it on auction with a starting price of 49 dollars and 99 cents um the brand of this was the brand of this and i don't know if you'll be able to see that is p chiari chiari is the the brand on them so yeah those were actually um i think a pretty good find i was seeing cow banks buy that brand selling well and i didn't see this set at all so i'm hoping that means it's harder to find and someone out there might be collecting them and is looking for it or at least looking for the display piece i got this walt disney world um kind of like outback style hat it is an adult size it says they're on the tag um and then there was three four five enamel disney pins there across the front of it won this at an auction for a dollar and i put it up on auction with a starting price of 29 dollars and 99 cents how's it look on me i don't want to get like makeup or anything on it got this purse at the sale where i got the vintage kids clothes and again like i said you haven't seen this footage video yet uh, but this is a vera bradley harry potter um crossbody purse this is i believe for a cell phone so and it is vera bradley harry potter i have a samsung galaxy i think it's an s22 ultra and it fits in there pretty well so um, it definitely is good for larger style phones um i paid four dollars for this bag and i have it listed as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents I won, well, Eric won for me a tray of um, Bath & Body Works Purely Silk Body Lotions. Do you guys remember these? These are um, older um, when they used to come in these glass jars like this. Um, there were, I have three of these uh, cucumber, these are the cucumber melon fragrance. And these lotions, the Purely Silk lotions, can sell really well. I mean, you guys should know by now, Vintage Bath & Body Works can do really well. Not even just Vintage Bath & Body Works, but just discontinued scents. Obviously, Cucumber Melon isn't discontinued, but you can't find the, lo the Purely Silk lotions anymore. Anyway, long story short, paid $11 for the tray that these were on, and I listed the Cucumber Melons for a buy it now of $49.99 a piece. Also on that tray was a sparkling mountain spring. Um, again, again, a purely silk Bath & Body Works lotion. This scent is actually harder to find. And I did list this one on auction with a starting price of $49.99. Oh, uh, I got this compact at the the yard sale where I got like the jewelry box and everything. This is really old. Um, the box is says made in Germany. And then there was a little compact inside and that says made in, there's a little tag there that says made in West Germany. And it's an absolutely beautiful compact. It's double sided, um, kind of like it has a Victorian type of look to it. And when you open it up, there are two sides so it's like a regular mirror and then there's like a magnification type of mirror there really nice condition i don't think it was ever used it was just stored away in this box for gosh knows how many years um i listed this um for a buy it now of 19 dollars 99 i also got this at that sale this is a vintage um left in little birthday angel for March so she looks like this and that's what she looks like underneath it says uh, daffodil is the March uh, birthday flower and then aquamarine is the the little stone there so it looks like that um I listed her for 
a buy it now of $19.99. I got this little German wooden incense smoker. I am not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's definitely vintage. German Democratic Republic there on the bottom. Um, I think he's either like a ringmaster to a circus or maybe um, like a circus trainer, like an animal trainer because he has this like whip looking thing um, that he's holding on to. And then obviously you put the incense cone right in there. So I picked this up at a yard sale. I paid 50 cents for him and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $19.99. And I'm pretty sure he has a couple watchers. Another vintage piece of children's clothing. I got this really adorable pastel um, kids sweater. This is by Rachel's Kids. It is a size six and it has like a cheerleading motif. Like we got little megaphones there, V for varsity. And then like a little cheerleader girl down here on the bottom. So I thought that was really cute. So a quarter for that. And I listed this on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Some vintage kids clothes can sell. And I will say a lot of the vintage kids clothes that I sell go overseas. Uh, I think this is my last piece of vintage kids clothes that I have listed anyway. This is an Oshkosh denim dress. And it has a little matching red plaid um, shirt underneath that's also by Oshkosh. Um, and the, they are both a size 4T and you can take the shirt out. Um, it's not like attached to the dress or anything. And I listed this on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at that same sale where I got the flat for a dollar. Um, this is a vintage treasure craft um, little trinket tray. And it says Bush Gardens in the center. So it would have been kind of like a souvenir piece had you visited um, Bush Gardens. So really cute, shaped like a fish. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. And I also have this little set of three um, choir boys. These are by Chase, hand painted, made in Japan. So these I think either came from a yard sale or they were on a flat that we won at an auction. And I listed these as a buy it now for $29.99. All right, so that concludes everything that I have listed so far. Um, I also like to show you guys some of the things that I picked up for myself. Um, this here we got at a yard sale. It's this little pottery piece. It's got a face on it and like a little, it almost looks like you could put like coins or something in there. So I don't know if maybe he once had a cork in his top, um, kind of like as a bank, but it is signed on the bottom. I feel like it says POTS 08. I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, we pay 50 cents for it. And we do have a couple of pottery pieces that have faces. So he's probably just going to sit up in our bookcase for the time being. Randomly, I got this um, just a little hair clip at a yarn sale for 50 cents. I needed a new one. Uh, the one that I have been using, one of my prongs broke off so I can finally throw that one away and then I also got this little set like a little kind of um, office -y type set I've been wanting a clipboard um, when I am out yard selling I have all of my addresses written down as to like every yard sale that I'm going to I put it in order so I'm, I follow a route so I can get you know everywhere I want to go as quickly as possible and you know I'm not going from one end of town to the next and that type of thing so it's always on just a piece of paper and on like windy days or like if I'm opening the car door I'm always like looking around where did I throw my paper where did I throw my paper and I'm always afraid it's gonna like fly out the window on like a windy day or something like that if I have it up on the dash so I've been looking for a clipboard and I found a little clipboard set and I liked this one um it's got like you know you can actually open it and there is some paper in there and you could probably once that's all 
you can probably, yeah, this whole thing slides out. So you can replace it with another pad or just some sheets of paper. So I thought that would come in handy. I just used it the other day and I liked it. The only thing I don't like is like I'll keep a pen with me as well so I can mark off so it's just easier for me to read where I've been. And I've been putting the pen up here and when I take the pen out and that thing goes down, it is so loud. It has scared Eric so many times. Uh, but with that, I got that at a yard sale. I paid $3 for it. But it also came with this um, three ring binder that has like some stuff in. I'll probably throw this out at like a yard sale or take it to the flea market because I don't really need that. And same with these. It came with a set of 10 binder clips. Looks like these were originally $4.99 just for them. So they'll probably go, like I said, to flea market or yard sale. Um, I also recently got this Kate Spade mini backpack. Um, I paid $10 for this. I thought that was a really great deal. Um, I am keeping this for now, but you know, I may end up selling it down the road. Uh, but I just thought it was really cute and I love backpacks. Okay, so this was the Monster High doll that I bought at the yard sale where Chester the cat was at. <laughs> um, so this was still sealed. I did pay $10 for this. It's the um, Monster High, welcome to Monster High. Apparently she sings. Her name is Ari Huntington. Huntington, I'm sorry. She's not playing, so obviously her battery needs changed. Um, but I got this. I don't think I don't think she's worth like a ton right now. So it's one of those things, and I've been saying, if I find sealed toys for a decent price, and I just figure Monster High will just keep going up in price, um, then I'll buy it and I will just hang on to it. I'm starting a tote full of toys that are still sealed type of thing. Um, but I'm kind of picky with what toys I'm picking up. I'm not just picking up every sealed toy. Uh, but I did pick this up for 10 Um, So we'll see anyway. I mean, it could all backfire and the stuff I'm picking up might not be worth anything. But I figured I'd just try it out. I mean, how many times have we, you know, come across a toy we had when we were younger and it's worth so much money now and we're like, why didn't we just hang on to that? Or why didn't we buy some toys back then and just hang on to them? So I, I want to start doing that now. And I was telling Eric, because Erica, we don't have children. We don't plan on, you know, ever having children. It's just a personal choice of ours. And, um... I was telling him, I was like, if I had a, if I had a child, I would obviously spoil it to pieces. And I said, if, you know, if we had a kid, we would probably be at Walmart or wherever, like maybe not every week, but, um, you know, every time, you know, they're doing something to earn, you know, a little toy or something like that, just to get them a toy. It's like, we would be doing that if we had a kid. So why don't we just like go into Walmart, we each pick out a toy that we really like, and we just set it back for, you know, a couple years to see if, you know, they end up being worth more um, down the road. So we haven't done that yet, but I just thought it would be fun because who doesn't still want to buy toys as adults? I mean, come on now, it's just so much fun. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You had to let me know what you thought down below. Oh my gosh, I think this is like an hour long. So go get yourself, go get yourself a drink because that's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.